Okay, so this is John Mayer's Neon Main Riff Simplified. <laughs> so I keep seeing all this thumb slapping going into it. Um, I also keep seeing this thumb over the top and then this, like, what the hell, no. And I know that on the, it's the, from the live version that he does right in LA. <clears throat> Where is the light or something? I can't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a simpler way of doing this and we're gonna go for it. He, he does do a funny picking pattern. And he does a more elaborate version than I'm gonna show you, but simplified. Uh, it's kind of like this, so I'll, I'll record another part so we can go along with this as well, so you can see how close. So, picking pattern's quite simple, really. He's playing his thumb on the low E, which is tuned down to a C. So, third fret on the A string, that's a C. Low E, down to that C, right? So, everything else is standard tuning. And we're going thumb, first finger, and then thumb jumps over the first finger, and then you do thumb and finger again. And that's the entire pattern, that's, that's the whole way through, mostly. Mostly. <laughs> Not 100%, but mostly it does that. Come up again on the little finger there. Um, so as far as the chords and stuff for this go, you can look those up online, I'm not going to put the tabs on the screen, but uh, I'll just go through which, which strings I'm playing and which notes. So open C, so low E, two times with C, and then we're going to play the 10th fret on the D string. Right there, okay, so it's going to be C as well, so we're just doing an octave thing. Uh, so that's thumb, first finger, thumb, first finger, low C, and then D string, 10th fret. And then we're going to jump our thumb over that D string to the G string, which we're going to do open. And the next thing we're going to do is the G string open. And then the B string here on the 8th fret, okay? So that's the whole of our first part. And the way he does it, he puts loads of percussive things in there and muted notes. But you can just ignore all of those and play that. And you can practice that on its own. Just like that. And I would recommend you do that. Just play that. And then you get used to it because that pattern just repeats mostly throughout the whole of this riff, right? So if we can get that down, when we play the rest of the things, we're playing mostly that riff. Okay, so yeah, we're playing that. And then we're getting into this kind of muted thing. What are you going to do? But after that, the only the next proper note this is, it, is going to be getting our little finger onto the 10th fret of the G string. Oh, D string? Yeah, G string. Um, so playing an A on the 10th fret there. So. That's, that's our, our next note, okay? Full note. And I put a little bit of percussion in there. But all I'm really doing is bring my hand down, ready, and I'm using my first finger to play that note. So, thumb, first finger, jump over, thumb on the G string, first finger on the B string, and then I'm bringing my hand down, put my little finger on underneath here, under my third finger on the 10th fret of the G, and playing that last note, right? And that's it, that's what we got. So like that part, if you can just practice that, that's a pretty good thing to practice, right? So that's a good start. Um, then we're getting into the rest of the stuff, right? So, and there 
we're just playing an open C, so our low E, open, that's C obviously, so that's C, open, and then D string open, with our first finger, so thumb, and finger, again, right, so, ignore the mistakes. pattern coming back again there so we're playing open C open D and then we're going to repeat thumb and finger on the C and the D strings but this time we're going to play first finger this is where they start getting into the thumb and I think screw that no one, everyone's complaining in the comments of these videos can't dislocate my thumb so first finger on the third fret of the C string okay second finger on the third fret of the D string thumb first finger right so we're back to that pattern open C and D and then first finger second finger third fret of the C and the D string we're jumping we're skipping that A string so open and you can practice that in isolation right so we've got this yeah not that one Playing that, I don't know if I mentioned that, open G string in the first part. So, open C, 10th fret on the D, thumbs jumping over to an open G. Open G, and then 8th eight, eight fret on the B string, okay? And then we're getting our little finger under there for the fret on the G string. Open C, open D, and then we're going to repeat that pattern. Might get a little rattly because we're quite low. So, so far okay so one more time slow so we're up to and I kind of like coming down the hand just to mute the strings more than anything I'm not deliberately trying to get a percussive hit in there when I'm coming in there it just helps me control all of the strings and keep them flat right so Last two notes here. So we've got our open C, open D, third fret, C and D. And then underneath here, we're going for the third fret on the G string, and then the fourth fret with our pinky on the B string. So third fret on the G string with our third finger, fourth fret on the B string with our fourth finger with our pinky. Right, so we end up with three we're going to jump over the a string so thumb first finger is going to play the d string then our g string and b string are like this thumb's going to jump over to that g string and then first finger is going to play the b string uh, and that's it and again you can play this in isolation okay so and if you find your low c is rattling just try moving closer to the fret a little bit, it might help. So it's open. And the other thing that I do want to play this song because it's so fast, um, is play it slower, first of all. So try to play it full speed. Just try to play that. Quite hard to play fast, right? So just play it slowly. And then the other thing is that that's not um, just like a teaching thing to make it easier to see to put these down in the order I'm playing them I'm playing them that way so that I have time to get to them right if I try and put that whole chord on all at once I have to just find all of those fingers whereas if I play it one at a time I go first note that I need to play is the lowest note so I put them on in that order and then I do that for all of it I 
even put that on until I get there. It's almost like a sweeping technique, right? So. That's where we're up to so far, right? Um, so yeah, this is where we start getting the bass line. Walking along. Uh, I don't like using the thumb here. I find it really awkward. I'm not surprised that people are complaining about this. It. Really, really difficult. So instead, I'm going to use my fingers. Now you do, you do have to be able to stretch. You have big fingers. You might find it easier. I play. I've got big hands, right? So I can have my thumb near enough over the top. But when I change to this one, I let my thumb go sideways, and that gives me a little bit more reach. You might want your thumb like all the way down the back of the neck to get your wrist underneath, right? Makes it a lot easier to play. So. To, right so our next chord it's not great um but we'll get there right so we've got this one it's okay then the next thing to do is to come up with our first finger on the g string and play that open and then we're going to move our little finger to the sixth fret on the d string okay so so playing open the G with our first finger and then our first finger again is going to play the fifth fret of the D string and our little finger is going to take care of that and then our third finger is going to the fifth fret on that low C now right so it goes like this that's our bit we're going to practice in isolation right If you can get that smooth, then we're good. So, so far we have this. And then we're getting our fifth finger ready to go onto the fifth fret. So then that part's gonna be thumb and finger again. C string, fifth fret. D string, sixth fret. And then these two fingers, first finger's gonna go onto the third fret of the G string. Second finger is going to go fourth fret of the B string. I'm going to go thumb and first finger on the G and the B. So, thumb and first finger here. Five on the C. Ignore the A. Sixth fret on the D. And then first finger. Third fret on the G string. Second finger, fourth fret on the B string. Again, I'm putting these down kind of in, in, in exactly the order that I'm playing them, right? So, there we're going. Fingers are coming down, and then open G. So I'm going six, five, three, four, because those are the order I'm playing them, right? There's no point getting ahead of myself because I'm not there yet. Okay, and then we're going into the next part. So I'll just play that all the way through so far. extra to add on the end there, right? So. So we're kind of coming back up that chord, all right? So. So once we finish doing our thumb, finger, thumb, finger, I'm gonna let my first finger come back up to that G string, third fret. And then I'm gonna repeat the first part, thumb and first finger on that chord five on the C, six on the D. It's gonna be our first part, so. And that's it, all right. So, leading into that part. Open G, sixth fret on the D. Getting up to there, so that B string, and then G string, third fret. 
low C and D string again. And that's going to lead us into the next part up here. Again, no thumb in any of this, right? No thumb over the top. On the left hand. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, so far we'd have this, right? Slack, that C really rattles around when you tune it down. That's what we're up to, right? So, next part, I'm just going to slide my finger up here. I'm just going to bar all the way across the 8th fret. I'm going to play the low C, thumb finger, going to go to the D string, so 7, oh, sorry, 8. E, 8 on the D, and then jump over with the thumb. Pretty sure I'm going over that, so. Second thing is going to pick up the ninth fret on the B string, so I'm going to go 8 on the C. Finger's going to pick up, first thing is to pick up that D on the 8th fret. Thumb is going to jump over and get the G string on the 8th fret, and then first finger we're going to get the ninth fret there with our second finger. And you can practice all of these chords in isolation, right? Just go back to the beginning. And then we're going to go to the final chord, which is going to be our third finger is going to jump up from here. Third finger is ready to jump up to the ninth fret on the C string. Tenth fret on the C string, sorry. So third finger is going to jump up to the tenth fret here on the low C. First finger is going to get tenth fret on the D string. Thumb and finger again, right? And then our first finger is going to pick up the seventh fret on the G. Second finger is going to get the eighth fret on the B. Thumb finger, thumb finger, and that's it, all the way through. So that part again is this. to slide into that. Gives you a little bit of extra time if you slide into it. To find that ninth fret. Sliding around there. it slowly right the rhythm people want it at that rhythm uh, so it's kind of you get all these videos people are playing them and they're just playing it so fast like, oh, how do you play it slowly a couple more times without talking. variations, mad variations in this, and you can play it all sorts of different ways, but um, I particularly like this end part, either playing it all as one, Leo. Uh, playing it all as one thing, so missing out the A string, but playing the low C, G, D, G, and B all together, doing a kind of 
that pinch on those. And then same with that one. Maybe alternate the thumb and then those three together. So we get this. So that's the thing, we're, we're alternating here, bum, finger, bum, finger, but you can totally just do it bum, finger, 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 like you would with a normal finger style. That's where I'm getting that from, right? You could, you could just replace the whole thing that way, right? So you could just do that. if you're having trouble with it, right? So, you can totally do it just with all your fingers. And he gets a little speed out of doing this bum thing. But you can, you can do it. You can do it any way you want, right? the best way to get the feel of it is just play it any way you can I was finding it hard to do the fun things so I just ignored it I don't mind fun over the top but I just end up losing all of the feeling out of it Nice and slow. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps because uh, yeah, from over the top, everyone is complaining about having to have double, double jointed thumbs for that one. Okay, good luck. Let me know how you get on in the comments.